Alright guys, 71014. And I have some prophecy in the news that I wanted to share for you guys. <clears throat> I shared with you guys over a month ago when I read it in the paper. I want you also to know that as a matter of factly, um I was attacked by Satan's workers. Uh the instant that I I recognized this prophecy in the news I'm reading the paper the very instant that this was opened up to me one of Satan's uh, workers henchmen I came under attack okay just just know that and it's been over a month now since I've been able to get this out for one reason or another so I'm gonna read you the Bible Prophecy, Jesus Christ, God on earth, spoke prophecy through his word, who he is the word of God. And it's um, Matthew 24, verse 32 uh, through 35. I might go on a little further than that too, but just, just to point it out to you so you get an understanding of where it's coming from. Uh, this is called the lesson of the fig tree. Quote it from Christ. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, or verily, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. That's Jesus Christ. And um, here in the paper, the uh, headline here, so the headline here is in the Bible, Lesson of the Fig Tree. The headline here in the paper is Israeli Peace Seeker Tries Yet Again. That Israeli Peace Seeker is no other than uh, Israeli President Shimon Perez. <clears throat> he might be out of office by now, though. Um, I'm just reading this from Jerusalem. And this is... You guys already know about all this. As Pope Francis prepares to enter the fraught world of the Middle East peacemaking on Sunday, the Israelis have boycotted talks. The U.S. has called for a pause, and the Palestinians forged a new government backed by militant Islamists, ISIS. And you see how that's unfolding now. There in the Middle East, and now Israel's at war. Uh, and rockets are being fired day and night. Um, now, I'm going to read on. Amid the breakdown, only one Israeli official is willing to accept the pontiff's invitation to attend a prayer meeting at the Vatican with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. <clears throat> and that is Israeli President Shimon Peres. Now, the Israeli presidency is mostly a ceremonial position, and the 90-year-old Mr. Perez, whose term ends in a month, which is now over, or right on the cusp of, has no power to cut a deal with the president uh, a Palestinian leader. But by all accounts, he is trying one last time to nudge forward a peace process that has been unable to sustain the momentum sparked by the signing 20 years ago of the Oslo Accords, for which Mr. Perez was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize along with Yasser Arafat and Yitzhak Rabin. Uh, in quotes, it says, He is a marathon runner, Perez believes not only in a two-state solution, he is completely convinced it will happen, said Yuri Sevier, a former Israeli diplomat who has served as an advisor to Mr. Perez since the 90s. But this meeting comes at a low point in the peace process. And now it's going to highlight another uh, great leader. With the death of Ariel Sharon in January, Mr. Perez is the only surviving member of the generation of Israeli leaders who were alive at modern Israelis inception as 1948 um, when Israel became a state the fig tree <clears throat> Christ talked about also Ariel Sharon we know that uh, Itzhak Kaduri the great prophet the great or maybe not prophet the great rabbi Israeli rabbi who's um, revealed to to the Jewish world and community that Jesus Christ is a messiah 
And he also said that after the death of Ariel Sharon, who just passed in January, like it says, who was in a coma for over seven years, um, who just uh, just died, um, he also said that Christ would return or or rapture the church or, or return and uh, return for his bride or or return um, after Ariel Sharon's death. So this is all highlighted here. This is all bringing prophecy to light here. So I'm going to read on again. Uh, with the death of Ariel Sharon in January, Mr. Perez, the only surviving member of the generation, and it, and it highlights that word, generation, Jesus said that not... What's he say exactly? I don't want to get it right. Um, so also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Highlighting the generation here with Shimon Perez. Um, highlighting the, the word generation. Highlighting um, Ariel Sharon's death. And highlighting prophecy from uh, Itzhak Kaduri. I'm gonna read on. This is just, you know, it's just all coming to light here. So it says, um, "Mr. President, the only surviving member of the generation of Israeli leaders who are alive at modern Israel's inception." That's the fig tree. He's the only one left. <laughs> He's the only one left alive. He's the, Mr. President, the only surviving member of the generation of Israeli leaders. Well, the only member of the leaders alive at modern Israel's inception. So, he's the most famous person, the most notable person um, that we have to, you know, grace the front pages of the paper here. Um, you know, as that beacon of light uh, shining on prophecy being fulfilled. <clears throat> it says, um, a group that also includes, and the same group also includes David Ben-Gurion, Yitzhak Rabin, Abba Ibn, Chaim Wiseman, Menachem Begin, and Golda Meir. He is widely revered in Israel as an elder statesman who speaks his mind. Okay, the site of Sunday's meeting um, in the Vatican Gardens is a far cry from Camp David, Y River, and Sharm El Sheikh, the scenes of previous Israel. Um, anyway, it says, um, spread across nation and proposed agreements are scrutinized and debated down to the last comma. This meeting will be attended by Muslim, Christian, and Jewish religious leaders, the Vatican said. Some say the participation of Mr. Perez is itself a sign of how, now look, even that is itself a sign of how desperately few options remain to get peace talks started again. In quotations, if he had been a president at the beginning of his tenure, that would be another thing. But he is now a lame duck, they said, said Yehuda Ben Meyer, a former deputy foreign affairs minister and currently an analyst at the Institute for National Security Studies, an Israeli think tank. I can go on and on, um, but that would get boring for you guys. So if you want to look this up, this is in the, uh, in the New York Times, I believe. And um, the Wall Street Journal, did I get this from? Yeah, the Wall Street Journal, sorry. The Wall Street Journal for uh, June 6th and 7th. Okay. So. God bless Jesus Christ as Lord. Um, this is just a light shining to glorify Jesus Christ. God be the glory. Amen.